Uh, well, you only can catch me on uh, just on Facebook because that's where I, that's where I talk to a lot of people. At the uh, the Facebook page is Carlos Stewart. I know I got a couple of them, but I mean, I would I would make sure y'all get the right one. Right, right. I kind of got um, messed up on Instagram. There's another person with your same name. So um, I got you, though, on Instagram. Thank you for the information, both of you. So I would like to okay. ask you, y'all have any upcoming online performance events um, that y'all are going to do a stage performance on, on air or online? Um, okay. Um. We got a lot of new music. Uh, I'm dealing with uh, a lot of new stuff. Uh, so I plan that we had planned to throw an online show on Sunday. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of cooking, of course. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I do. Uh, but we're going to throw the show on Sunday. Uh, At what time? Online. Um, it should, it's going to run about 7 o'clock. It should be like 7 o'clock. All right, that would be six be, o'clock my time, time. Man. Yeah. yeah, I got yeah. I just I just purchased some I just purchased some new equipment. So uh, if we gotta bring if we gotta bring the party to y'all, we are gonna bring the party to y'all. All so, right now, all right, yeah, all man. right now. And we are gonna test it on. So we gonna test it on Sunday and see how everything work out. And you know we gonna throw a little we gonna throw a little online show. Yeah, like we did last time. All Sunday right. Well, I missed the one last time, so don't tell me too much. I want to be surprised. And thank you for that information. I would like to play another song, another track of yours. Uh, this one's called Staying in My Lane. What's that about? Is there a story behind it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> If you don't have nothing to say, I'm going to go ahead and spin it. Here he is, staying in my lane. <laughs> All right. All right. It's not a game. You see the world that ain't ready for the change. Boy, you got a strength and a name To help you get you through the struggles and the pain Gotta keep your eye on these things Friends make your friends, people change That's why I stay in my lane Blood flows, getting back like a king I the mud, living hard, man, I got to go And it be something that other artists never show That proper swag about the business when I'm chasing bad That I have no time for them haters and the way they act In the state, pushing on my Rick and Ross Best paint with the hammer, drinking on the salt Over ice, mix right, Cabo got your sleeve In a jungle full of killers, it's what it is Gotta grind, nigga, gotta shine, bitch Time is not to waste, cause that's my time, nigga Feel the pressure build, cause we feel the pop Smoking on the gas, drinking on the paint of rock This is not a game You see the world, that ain't ready for the change Boy, you got a strength and a name To help you get you through the struggles and the pain Gotta keep your eye on these things Friends ain't your friends, people change That's why I stay in my lane Blood flows, getting back like a king for the times, cause we live in worse, living worse. And I feel the hurt, a shadow take for the best, for the dick the fact, fact that nobody got your back. You watch the mother niggas, cause they know some niggas. Know some niggas. On my P's and Q's, it's gorilla, it's gorilla. In the jungle, silverback, primal killer, primal killer. Like the brave up a hunt, that'll come to get you. Get you grind, nigga, on the vines, on the vines. Ladies looking fine in my line, nigga. Line, nigga. See the upper climb, cause my mind trick, mind trick. Legend in the make, the fine bitch. Oh, the truth is not a game. You see the world, that ain't ready for the change. All you got is strength and a name. To help you get you through the struggles and the pain Gotta keep your eye on these things 
friends, make your friends, people change. That's why I stay in my lane. Blood rolls, cause it acts like a king. I like it. I like that. I like that. I really like it. That is really chill, laid back. The lyrics, I understand very clearly. I like it. Mm. So what you say about it? We appreciate appreciate (laughs) that. Um, I came up, well, I want to, because today was the end, because today was the interview. It's not only the interview, but today marks, it's the 12th of this is June, right? Yeah. It's the 12th of June, and I just dropped my 12th album today. Oh, well, congratulations. Um, hey, hey, now. No, uh, that's 12 <laughs> that's twelve full, That's 12 full albums in the last three years. Wow. And we're talking, wow. like, all, we're talking like all through them. I, I've had 15 surgeries. Uh, my mom passed through, My mom passed away. March 26th, you know what I'm saying? I, I've had a yeah. lot of struggles and a lot of obstacles that I had to overcome for real, for real. So for me to have that much material and still have a and still have a, 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 a three computers full, you know what I'm saying? This 12th album yeah. was like, this 12th album was like that album to let everybody know, like, I'm not playing, like, everybody don't think that I'm the real deal and they, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I'm an artist. It's a ton of artists. That's what they say. But it ain't a ton of artists. It ain't a ton of artists that bring what I bring to the table. You know what I'm right. saying? I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a seasoned artist. I grew up listening to all the old school old school legends. We're talking the builders who, you know what I'm saying? The foundation of hip hop. That's them the people I learn from. Them the people I'm book smart from. I took notes. I paid attention. And when all this new stuff came. You know what I'm saying? It was just time to apply what I learned in hip hop. You know what I'm saying to everything. I mean, I know we're going through we're going through some tough times like right now. Like we just had all this protest. You know, every city every city protesting. You know what I'm saying about about cops and and, and killing blacks and you know what I'm saying. We got that going yeah. on uh, uh, uh. on top of on top of the COVID nineteen stuff we got mm-hmm. going on. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, them ain't distractions because they're very important and stuff, you know what I'm saying, everybody needs to pay attention to. But they are distractions when you're trying to still do quality music and music from the heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of this GOAT album, it came from all of that. My mom passing away. You know what I'm saying? I had to okay. take custody of my nieces, nieces and nephews. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's, it's just... It's just what I had to do. It's adult. It's it's just adult things. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I had time to sit down and write this album and talk about everything. Talk about how I got out of all of these struggles with all of these surgeries and being on the. You know what I'm saying. Being on my deathbed. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. I, had, I had guys like Carlos and you know what I'm saying and other people. You know what I'm saying. Motivating me to move and move. So that that was what I needed, and that's where this great right. album came from. That stand in my lane, that stand in my lane yeah. came from the stuff I look at on my city streets. Right. The black on black violence that's going on. Okay. I've had three I've had I've had three broad day shootings in my in my you know what I'm saying, in front of my house. Where police has picked up gun shells and you know what I'm saying? The incident yeah. happened somewhere else. Okay. I live okay. in the, I live in the jungle. You know what I'm saying? So that's where this goat album came from. I'm gonna give you okay. everything. I'm gonna give it to you from your soul. Well, it is moving, and I understand how you feel. And congratulations um, on your albums and for this year, 2020. And you keep doing what you're doing. We need you. We need you. We need your insight. I would like to uh, ask you. Um, there will there be a movie coming out on you? You said you're working on a book right now. Can you yeah, give us that um, information? 
I was uh with ten surgeries in. I I made a decision to write a book about everything that I was everything that I was going through. Uh, and that's when the magazine, that's when the Too Loud uh, dot com magazine dropped about uh getting through my struggles and stuff like that. Uh, people didn't read that. I'll share that link uh here in a minute after this uh after um, after we're done talking to you. But uh, I started a book. I started writing a book about everything because, you know, I was hospital bound and I was in nursing home. And with me being so young, you know what I'm saying, that was like, that was something that I could never envision. I could never see myself in that position. But I had a chance to talk to some of them people in the nursing home. And that kind of inspired me to write this write this book. Because okay. this music this music is my legacy. This music is something that I'm gonna leave for people to remember me. I don't you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. care if I get famous or not. That's not a big thing to me. You know what I'm saying? I like living in solitude. <laughs> right, right. I'm like it too. Yeah. You know so saying, when but, so you think the movie will happen later this year then? You wanna know what? Um I've 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 been in connection with uh I've been in connection with some people to they're trying to give us our own uh television station. Uh, okay. You know, they're trying to give us our own television network. Uh but I haven't got through all of all the contract he say she say and all of that stuff. You know how that goes. Right. But I wanna do it that way. And if I do it that way, everybody that has a smart T V and you go to Roku uh huh. You go. You'll be able to click on Roku, and you'll see a big giant funk nav, funk nav radio emblem. Okay. And you and you'll be able to click on that emblem, and it'll be, it'll be just like Netflix. You know how Netflix got your right, got your right. series, and then you got those certain episodes. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be just like that. I want to start okay. it off like that. Okay. Before I go into uh the big screen, big screen, because uh. It is something to actually talk about. I've been told by a few uh, advocates, a few peace by, peace advocates here in my own city, that it's something that I should talk about and I should write a book and I should do a movie and tell my story. So I wanted to tell my story that way. All right. Well, thank you for that information. Right now I want to go back and ask, when will the album be out? And uh, give us information about the uh, signature clothing line and the uh, T-shirts that you are were talking about that will come out later this year. Also, go right ahead. Either one hmm. of y'all. Hmm. Well, the album, <clears throat> the album Best of Both Worlds, is will be scheduled to drop. On the 4th of July. I want to drop on the 4th of July. So we're in the studio, right? We're actually in the studio right now in this interview. In this interview, I actually have my computer and my studio up and going <laughs> right now. So right after this interview, we're going to finish off a, a song for this album. Uh, so we scheduled to drop that on uh, July 4th of this year. The woman's clothing line, I'm going to put a link up on my wall. Where where you can go to, and you can and you can look through what what I have now. I have a few orders. I got three, I got three of them in now. I'm waiting for the body dresses and I'm waiting for the blue and white ones to come in. Uh, if you're looking at our live feed, this is one. Uh, the t-shirts go to print uh this week, so um, okay. Everything is pretty much due to drop around this album so July fourth. I wanna put everything together and I wanna give my, I wanna give us some time to actually okay. put it together the way it's supposed to be put together. So everything will be dropping uh July fourth. We'll be posting links that, that first week, the last week of June. We'll, oh, be, we'll start posting, posting links because we know it's I see you. I see you show be uh, showing them pants you know, up her. Uh, because uh, we know it's getting hot, so and he, and they comfortable, they're breathe, you know what I'm saying? They're breathable. You can That's walk good, in them, eh? you can work out in them. Hell, you can throw some heels and throw a nice top on oh, and go shake <laughs> the towel a little. You know what I'm saying? We got some. Yeah. Hey, give me them black ones, man. 
Look, look, look. Give me the black. Look, look. Check this out. I ain't even. Oh, these ain't. 